Hey, what is going on guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and turn on that bell notification icon so you don't miss any of my videos. So in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to take your PlayStation 4 controller and use this to play Fortnite on your PC. Now, I already made a video on how to do this, but this one is an easier method. So first, you're going to need to download and install two things. That is WinRAR and DS4 Windows. Alright, so the first thing that you need to do is to download and install WinRAR. So just go to Google and type WinRAR download, just like I did over here. And it should be the first link. So let's click the first link. And from here, just click download WinRAR. And click over here to download WinRAR and it's gonna download and just download and install it the same way that you would download and install any other program to your computer matter of fact the steps are actually right here so just go ahead and do these steps and you should be good to go all right so now you want to download ds4 windows i'll have this linked in the description below so you're going to want to download this one over here i already have it downloaded so i'm not going to download it again but once you have it downloaded it should look something like this. All right, so what you wanna do here is right click, extract to DS4 windows underscore whatever these numbers are. And what this is gonna do is create a folder with the same name as this. So let's go ahead and look for that folder. Here it is. So let's open this up, open this up. And here it is, DS4 windows. So double click. And there you go. All right, so now that you have this open, all you need to do now is to connect your PlayStation 4 controller to your PC. Now, you can either use a cable or you can use Bluetooth. But first, let me show you how to do it with the cable. So the other end of this cable is already plugged into my PC. So now all I have to do is plug this end to the controller and it should detect it right away. There you go. As you can see, it's right here. It shows the battery life. And uh, yeah, that's it. All right. So if you plug your controller to your computer with the cable, you might run into a problem where you're not hearing any sound. If that happens, all you have to do is click over here to the sound icon. Then click over here and just change the output to whichever one is your headphones or speakers, whichever one you're using. Try to figure out which one it is. In my case, it's going to be this one. And then try adjusting the volume. If you can hear the sound, you should be good to go. If you still can't hear the sound, just click here again and then try all of these until you get the right one. So now I'm going to show you how to do it with Bluetooth. So let me unplug this. All right, so if you want to use Bluetooth, here's what you need to do. So go to the search bar over here, type Bluetooth and open up Bluetooth and other devices settings. And from here, make sure to turn on Bluetooth if you have it off. OK, make sure Bluetooth is on. All right. So after you do that, take your controller and press and hold the home button and the share button at the same time until it starts blinking. And there you go. As you can see, it's blinking. So once that happens, Click over here to add Bluetooth or other device. Click Bluetooth and it should show up right here. Wireless controller, click that. And there you go. Now it says your device is ready to go and you heard the sound. So that means it should work. So just click done and minimize this because you're probably gonna need it later. And that's pretty much it. All you have to do now is open up Fortnite so let's go ahead and do that. All right, so as you can see, I have Fortnite open. I'm using my controller to navigate, but I got to tell you guys something really important, and that is to try to avoid clicking away from the game screen. For example, if you have a second monitor and you want to click on something on your second monitor, maybe Discord or something, um, as you can see, my mouse is right here. So if I move my mouse to my second monitor, you can't see it right now, but it's on my second monitor. And if I click on my second monitor, 
this is going to happen. And uh, now I can't hear the sound. You can still use the controller, but you can't hear a sound. Some games, if you do this, you, the controller is going to stop working. But um, yeah, just try to avoid clicking away from the game screen. So let me just click back into the game screen. And everything should be good again. All right, so here I am. As you can see, I'm using my controller to move around. I'm just in creative because I just want to show you guys that this works. And if you move your mouse, you can actually switch to mouse and keyboard anytime you want. So right now I'm using a mouse and keyboard and I just pick up my controller and use this to play as well. You could actually just switch between the two whenever you want to. So that's pretty much it. It's as easy as that. All right, so once you're done using your controller on your PC and you want to disconnect it, if you're using Bluetooth, here's what you need to do. So go to the search bar again, type Bluetooth and open up Bluetooth and other devices again. And then from here, just click wireless controller, click that and remove device and click yes. And that's it. Now your controller is going to turn off. And that is it. That is all that you have to do to play Fortnite on PC using your PlayStation 4 controller. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this video was helpful and if it was, make sure to give this video a like, comment down below and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. If you want to keep up with me on my socials, I'll put them on the screen and I will leave a link to them in the description below. And if you want to join my Discord server, I'll also put the link to it in the description as well. So guys, thank you again for watching. I will see you guys on the next video. Later.